Hello everyone, this is my model Vicky. I've been doing her hair for quite a few years. Her hair is black. You can't tell that it's black because she has um, some root color on it that we did about a couple weeks ago. But what I'm gonna do today is concentrate on these little um, yellow pieces that she has. They're not bad, but I just wanna show you how that you can get somebody to go blonde and slow sessions if you don't wanna ruin their hair overnight. It's not that it's impossible to bleach somebody's hair overnight. It's just I like to take my time and do it slow. See how blonde her ends are? So yes, you can get somebody this blonde, but it's best, you know, to take your time and do it right. I'm going to do a few foils, let it sit, process, rinse, and then I'm going to put a toner. Okay, to be continued. See her hair is in good shape. She doesn't um, use the dryer. She lets her hair air dry. So that's why her ends aren't that bad. And when they do get bad, we just trim them and go on about our way with the deep conditioner. Okay, um, to be continued. Okay, so I took some random pieces that had a little orange um, look to it, teased it, um, put the bleach on it, but I didn't put the bleach through the ends because the ends in her front are starting to look a little busted that's because we've been bleaching it bleaching it for so much um so we'll be trimming that um so this is what i did so i picked up the little brassy pieces and i'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes rinse listen to some joe hey i want to know and while she's taking a nap she's tired I didn't go all the way to the front because I want to give it a little ombre look. And we will go from there. Alrighty then. I'll be back again. Okay, I mixed the toner with Tin Value. I am using T18 with the Cool Additive. I'll show you right now. And I use Tin Volume because I noticed in the past when you use 20, it lifts the roots up too much and it makes the roots look like orange. And we're not trying to go orange because it's not the 80s. So this is the T18. And the 050, the 050, I mixed half and half, um, double the amount of the peroxide, and I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes, and it's already cooling it off. So it has like a little violet tint to it, which I don't mind because when you rinse it, um, it's just gonna make take all the brassiness out. See how it's making it cool? All right, I'll dry it and style it and I'll be back. See, it's already lifting her roots. So sometimes you don't even need to use a color to lift up the roots, just the toner in itself with the low volume peroxide will lift it just enough so it makes the roots look natural. I don't like to go too high on the peroxide level when I'm toning because it lifts the roots and it gives it kind of like an orange fit orange feel so this is the cooling effect all right I'm gonna go back to dancing and singing I'll be back in a few bye all right everyone this is the finished look see there's no lines and the toner took care of her roots
see I got rid of that um little brassy look that she had in her hair I didn't have to do a full weave all I had to do was just pick up the little orangey pieces um I didn't let it go through the ends because her ends are starting, you know, I don't want them to get crunchy, whatnot. But this is the finished look. See? You notice no more orange. All the red pieces are out. And there you go. I just put a few foils, put the T18 toner with the additive, the violet additive for 30 minutes. And this is the results. It looks like we did like something major to her head, but we didn't. All I did was um just uh, pick up the few orange pieces. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.